Kyle, big win for you to say the least. Um, how did you guys manage to keep your composure, not panic being down? We know you're a guy who you know never gives up when you're on the floor and even when you're on the sidelines. What were you telling your guys down the stretch? We, di we didn't keep our composure. We lost it a few times, right? And I think that's a big misconception is that you know, you've got to keep your composure for 40 minutes every night you want to, but it doesn't work like that. The game doesn't work like that. And I think when you appreciate that about the game itself, um, you know, I played, I lost my composure a lot. And so I can see it happening, guys. Uh, the stuff that we went through tonight wasn't the first time I've been through that as a coach, a few guys losing it. And so I think you have to adapt and, and actually uh, identify it and deal with it. We lost our composure a few times, so did they, but I think we regrouped. I don't think it's about not losing your composure, but how you react to it, right? And I thought we did a great job of that. Obviously, we fought. Look, if we don't make that last shot and they make the last shot, I'm really proud of that fight in the guys kind of deal. So, I mean, just proud of our guys overall but but we fought through adversity and and we lost our composure a few times yeah what were the keys for you guys i mean down the stretch we saw guys hitting big shots uh and you know the vets are there talking to the young guys as well yeah so we built a team you know you look at our roster five or six guys played five or six more years of pro that was the whole point guys that i know guys that you know um i know them they know me and that was the whole point of building the roster this way so when you get into scenarios like this you you guys have you have players that coach each other out there and it was happening a lot you really saw that right um but look they, they played zone for 38 minutes and so they just never changed the zone. So I just think that the answer is we finally just really, I was upset in the first half. We didn't execute well against it. And then I think the guys figured it out on their own, even without me. They finally figured it out and we were able to get, kind of break it a few times, get to the rim. But I think the big thing is we made big stops late. Like Olu switching on to Makuma, you know, when his a three wins it and he want, the kid shoots a, a shot because he can't get around Olu. That tells you a ton about Olu. He might think he didn't play well overall because he didn't have very many points, but that, that to me was an, uh, an incredible defensive possession gave us a chance to win. Um, talk about the Elam ending. Of course, you're on the good yeah. side of it, and uh, the league this year pulling it together. Yeah, I mean, I could talk for hours about how impressed I am with the CEBL for making this thing happen the way they've made it happen. For me, as a guy who, you know, puts food on the table with basketball, enable, enable, uh, enabled me to have a job and, and, and support my family during this time when I was in Taiwan and COVID-19 stopped me, stopped me from coaching, stopped me from earning money, and then I get to come into the CEBL and, and, and be well taken care of. So from an individual standpoint, I've been ecstatic with the league. From a team and, and, and operational standpoint, the league has been tremendous. Tremendous, like absolutely tremendous. So uh, the Elam ending, I mean, that was the league's choice. I don't know if I'm a fan of it or not. I like being able to call timeouts and manage the clock, but now it's seven or eight games for me in this environment. It's very interesting too. I don't know if we win that game uh, without the Elam, right? So let's be honest. It's been pretty cool. It's been pretty exciting for me as a coach to be able to have the opportunity to learn it and, and, and try and adapt to it. I think it's been good for my growth and, and our staff as well. And the Fraser Valley organization? Amazing. Amazing. I, I signed with Fraser because the way the front office was working, the way they, they, they wanted to, we had like-minded goals. So we talked about building a winning culture of toughness and grit, and they were all about that. And they've allowed us to do that, and these guys can be themselves and play that way. So I cannot say enough. And, and the, the fan support in BC, I haven't had a chance to be out there, but it's incredible. And so this, this win is for everybody in BC, all the youth and all the young kids that hopefully get a chance to go watch us play in person next summer.